two important terms related with Mendel's experiment. One, phenotype, another genotype. Now I want to tell you about phenotype and genotype. What is phenotype? The external appearance is called phenotype. The external appearance of a pea plant, if it is tall, then we can say it is phenotypically tall pea plant. And if it is dwarf, then we can say that this plant is phenotypically dwarf. Sometimes we are just talking about height, only one character. We are talking about only one character that is height at this time. But sometimes we will say this way also, this is tall pea plant having yellow seed. It means we are talking about two characters. Phenotypically, in external appearance, plant is tall and in appearance, is seed color is yellow. In this way, the external appearance of an organism with regard to one or more character is called phenotype. It is defined this way, phenotype, the external appearance of an organism with regard to one or more character is called phenotype. Now, next term is genotype. Genotype means type, what kind of gene it has. Gene always lies in pair and both the pair have the character of being tallness or both the pair has the character of being dwarf or one of the gene has a uh, character of being tall and another has a character of being dwarf. All this comes under genotype. It means the genetic constitution of an organism with regard to one or more character is called genotype. Just for example, look at this we can define this way the same thing genotype genetic constitution of an organism with regard to one or more character is called genotype just for example if someone says pure tall pea plant then its gene must be represented this way character T says it is tallness both the gene has character of being tall. That's why it is called pure tall. And this is also called homozygous tall. In the same way, uh, pure tall, pure, if one, uh, if both the genes have character of being dwarfness, then this is called pure tall. And it is denoted by small t, small t. But if a pea plant has this type of gene, capital T and small t, it means it has the character of being tall also and character of being dwarf also. But externally it appears tall, then we will say hybrid tall. Hybrid tall. Now look at this and verify this uh, set of gene with phenotype and genotype. This pea plant having this type of gene it appears tall. Phenotypically tall, this one, and its genotype is also tall. And this plant, which we are representing by small t, small t, it is phenotypically dwarf. Its external appearance will be dwarf, and both the genes also carries the same thing, same thing, same character of being dwarf. But this type of pea plant, if a pea plant has this type of gene, then it appears tall. Phenotypically, it is tall, but its gene has both the character. It consists of both the character of being tall and dwarf. Later in its offspring, dwarfness can be seen. That's why this pure tall has this type of gene, pure dwarf has this type of gene, hybrid tall has this type of gene. But the external appearance, how it appears, that is phenotype. And phenotype is actually declared by genotype. If genotype is pure tall, then phenotypically in appearance it appears tall. If genotype is pure dwarf, both of them are carrying dwarf, then phenotypically it is dwarf. And if gene is of this type, then one of the character appears either tallness or dwarfness. The dominant character appears that is tallness, that's why phenotypically tall, but genotype is different. It has the character of being tall also. Dwarf also. This way we can understand phenotype and genotype very shortly. The external appearance of an organism with regard to one or more character. We are taking just one character. If someone says a pea plant is pure tall, 
having yellow seed, pure yellow seed, then we can write this way also. Its genotype can be written this way. Genotype, capital D, capital T means pure top, capital Y, capital Y means pure yellow CDP plant. In the same way, if someone says pure top, but the seed is carrying the pure drop, pure uh, green, the character of being pure green, then we will write this way. This way, this gene is saying two characters. These genes are saying two characters. That's why external appearance of an organism with regard to one or more character or is called phenotype. In the same way, the genetic constitution with regard to one character or two character or more than one two character is called one or two character is called genotype.